I'll just say that uh, we played a great basketball team, and they got so many weapons, and when they're playing well, uh, that many people, it's tough to beat a team like that. And they, uh, they played well. I thought our guys played hard, but uh, the, the reason why they're the champions of this league and lost two games in two years is because they have that kind of talent. They're a veteran team. With, uh, Benson been a long time and Hudson. Well, we just played a team that shot the ball extremely well, and they're a veteran team. And like I say, they have so many weapons, uh, and when they're all clicking and when they're all playing well together, it's tough to beat a team like that. But I'm really proud of our basketball team. Uh, at halftime, uh, you know, we're shooting 50 something percent. This guy was fun to watch going against trees inside at six foot four. But uh, you always have to give up. Uh, a team like that uh, credit because they played uh, extremely well. They didn't miss many shots and they were really good from the three-point line. And like I say, you, you don't beat a good team like that unless uh, they have an off night with the, the talent they have. All right, questions for Jackson Stevenette. Jackson, uh, was the last minute just uh, too tough to, to overcome uh, in the second half? Last minute, the first half? Um, I think we just uh, let him get away from us. Um, we just got to. And tighten up some little things and little mistakes here and there. You have a few of them that go a long way and they keep getting that lead on us. I mean, we just gotta, we just needed to tighten up on the defensive end. I mean, you let a guy score 21 points in the first half. I mean, you can't do that if you're going to ball game against a team like this. Playing against them against you, uh, in Utah a couple of days back, did you think you guys could could win that? I mean, if you guys did the right things? I mean, what was your mindset going into the game? Oh, we were real confident going into the game. We knew we could keep up with them. And I think our, our last game, we just had one stretch that let them get away from us, but now we kept with them. I think we were all real confident we could stay with them and come out for the game and just get it done. Any other questions for Jackson? All right, Jackson, you can go. Thanks, Jackson. I would just say uh, this last week after the last game, our guys uh, uh, practiced uh, hard. Uh, very, very confident. We came in here to win a basketball game and really believed that we could. But, but you, like I say, if you're going to beat a team like that, you got to do uh, two or three things. Number one, you got to play great defense. And uh, uh, it's pretty tough when they have the, the, the strength they have inside and the great shooters they have. you got to rebound well. Uh, we did that. Uh, the first game, uh, they uh, out-rebounded us. And tonight, I think we got them won. But there's so many stats. I just, I just think that uh, I'm proud of our guys. Proud of the ref for the second half of the season. Uh, got a lot of people coming back, and that's the thing. Uh, I know we're not going to see Benson anymore. I'm not going to see Hudson anymore, and all that kind of stuff. And that's always nice to think about. Coach, can you talk about the free throw shooting? Uh, you know, you guys did uh, miss some uh, key there. Do you think if you made some, that would be a different ball game at all? Uh, you know what? I haven't had a chance to look at the stats. Uh, I'll tell you what the free throw stats were. 16-21, but uh, some, some 16 of 21 for Killer Utah? Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, well, yeah, you know, that's a part of the game. You always got to uh, uh, do well. You know, we spend a lot of time at it. Uh, you've got to shoot free throws. But once again, when you're playing someone uh, that is a great shooter on a perimeter and also has great quickness, it's a double-edged sword. And, uh, and especially with Hamilton, you know, we were out there and you go out and, and take the three away, which, you know, starts with, then you got to stop the drive. And when guys are really quick and uh, uh, get seams on you, uh, and we have a tendency because, uh, you know, they got quicker feet than we do. You can't reach and foul and put yourself in a, in a hole that way, too. You touched on uh, last year's uh, or next year's team. What are your plans for next year? Are you, you plan to come back? or uh... Always plan to come back. Sure. we got too many guys that are uh, good basketball players, and we put a couple of guys with us that would be a good team. You mentioned three things. <laughs> To the, need to win a game, the defense, the rebounding, and we got to the third one. Oh, you, you got to play good defense. You got to you got to rebound, and you got to execute offensively. Uh, I thought we did that in the first half. Like I say, we're shooting fifty some percent ourselves. Uh, that's not bad. And in the second half, when you're down, then you you hurry and you don't execute as well because we were down. And uh, but uh, those three things, if you're going to beat a good team. You got to do that. You got to execute, and you got to make shots. This is execution. You got to rebound. You got to play defense. And once again, you know, I get stuff here, and uh, tonight they're a lot better basketball team. I can sit up, uh, a lot of coaches will come up and say, hey, we didn't do this or do that. We just, beat a, uh, we just played a better basketball team tonight, and they're a good team. Like you say, if you, if you look and you say, hey, uh, out of all teams in America, 
this team has the best winning record in all the leagues in America in the last two years. That means they lost two games in two years. So they're good. They're good. You got you to be a team like that, you got to do things well. And hopefully, maybe they have a little off night, but they didn't have that. How much you're so familiar with all these teams, but now that you're out of it, how, how wide do you think the gap, excuse me, how wide do you think the gap is between Oakland and the rest of the field? Right now, yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty, uh, you know, big, big, but you know what? It wouldn't shock me to have somebody uh, uh, that, uh, in the next couple nights uh, beat them. So that wouldn't shock me at all. There's some good teams. You know, the coaches in this league that's been here a while said this is the best league they've seen from top to bottom, you know, for... Uh, many years. But, uh, you know, it's going to take a, a good effort, but it, it, it wouldn't shock me to see somebody be in this tournament. Not even close. Especially on any given night. Anything else? All right. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Guys. Appreciate Thanks, it. Coach.